Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we will be finally finishing our notification app. So in the previous tutorial we have just created the notification and we have just assigned a unique id to it. Now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to actually make this button right here work. So this is going to work when the method associated with the on click which is nothing but this my button click method is going to work. So we need to set up this method. So in order to do that we go here outside the on create method and we create the method so we type public void and the method name is my button clicked so once we have this method we need to pass in view and view make sure that you remember this thing and inside this we are going to type in the code which we want the application to do whenever we click the button so the first thing which we need to do is that we need to set in the notification icon so if you want to set a special notification icon you could do that but in this case instead of importing a new notification icon i would go to this minmap folder and inside the minmap folder you could see there there are many images which you could use or if you want to use a new image as your notification image so you could just select any of the image so let's go to this folder right here and let's select some image so let's say i select this image right here so let's say i select this image right here so i copy it go back to android studio and paste it somewhere and uh, let's say inside the drawable folder and it's always better if you save the image in the drawable folder so let's say the image name is fruit.png click ok and this fruit or the apple icon is going to appear whenever a notification is going to pop up so once this is done the next thing which you could do is that you could actually set the notification image so we type in notification dot set small icon and this is basically used to set the small icon then we type the place where or the link where our image is located so we type r dot drawable that is because drawable is the folder where our image lies dot fruit and it is going to assign the value of the image to the small icon now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to set the trigger so we type notification dot set ticker and let's name it as this is a ticker now also uh, you might have noticed that uh, whenever a notification pops up there is going to be some time associated with it uh, when the notification pops up so that basically gives you an idea uh, when actually the notification has occurred so you, in order to set the time for the notification we type notification dot set when and this is basically going to return the time so we type system dot current time milliseconds so this is basically going to set the time of the notification and now finally we need to set the title and the text of the notification so in order to do that we again use the notification object then we use the set content method or the set content text method in order to set the text so we type in here is the text and we also need to set the title for it so right before this again we type in notification dot set content title and let's say this is the title so once we are done with this we are done with setting the notification and make sure that you spell title correctly and now once this is done the next thing which you need to do is that whenever the user clicks on this notification not only the notification goes away but we also need to uh, take the user back to the application so in order to do that we use intent so whenever the user clicks this notification as we want to take them back to the activity screen so we create an intent here so we type intent let's name it as intent and we need to import intent and then we type equals new intent and within this we type the first parameter as this then we type in the activity to which we want to make them return to so in this case we type main activity then give a dot and then type in class so this is basically an intent to return them to the main activity then we create a pending intent so pending intent let's name it as pending intent equals pending intent and we use the method which is called as get activities 
and to this we pass in the first parameter as this the second parameter as 0 the third parameter as the intent itself then the final parameter to get the current update about the intent so we type pending intent dot flag update current and as you could see it is showing us an error and that is because actually this should not be activities this should be activity as we are using it for a single activity now once this is done the final thing which we need to do is that we need to set the content for the notification so we type notification dot set content intent and finally we set it to the pending intent so once everything is done the final thing which we need to do is that we we need to send the notification so in order to send the notification we are going to need the notification manager so notification manager is something which manages all the notification so it checks if a notification has been sent if the notification has been clicked by the user and everything like that so we create a notification manager object so we type notification manager and let's name the object as nm equals and we type cast it to notification manager and then we type get system service and actually we want to access the notification service so we use the get not get system service and inside it we pass in the notification service as we want to access the notification service we simply pass into the notification manager so that the notification manager uses the service and passes on the notification and then finally to notify we type nm dot notify and the first thing which we pass to this notification is the unique id which we have created so we pass in the unique id as each and every notification needs to be unique then we pass the notification dot build so this thing right here is going to build the notification and it is going to assign it to a new id and finally it is going to notify us so once this is done we are good to go so we could save our application and launch it on the emulator and as you could see our application is up and running so this is our notify me button right here and whenever i click it as you could see a ticker appear right over here so if you drag the notification bar right here so if you drag the notification bar right here as you could see it is displaying that this is the title and here is the text so this is our image right here and it is actually not displayed properly in the emulator but if you try to run this application on your device it should be fine and it should display your image and also the image size matters uh, make sure that you have a suitable image size for your notification icon so this thing right here is says that this is the title and whenever we click this it is going to take us back to our notification now even if we click this button right here the notification pops up and even if we exit out of the application and if we pull this notif and if we pull this notification bar and whenever we click this it is going to take us back to our application and that is because we have added the intent in such a way that whenever we click the notification bar or the notification it is going to take us back to our main activity so that's how you build custom notifications for your android applications and i hope you guys understood this this tutorial and how we actually build the notification and you could and you could use this while building your application so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you